Hello and welcome everyone, my name is the Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing the third episode of the First Punic War titled The Battle of Tunis. Now you might notice that I already have a gold medal here. That's because I recorded this video once and then my screen recording software decided to completely obliterate my recording and itself. I had to do like a full factory reset. Let's go ahead and get started here. Frustrated by your victories in Sicily, the Romans have sent the general Regulus to attack our homeland in Africa. His army now threatens the city of Carthage, while the Roman navy approaches to blockade our ports. You must defend Carthage from these attacks and turn the tides of the battle. May Baal Haman protect us and grant us victory. Alright, so I do have the knowledge that this is the final scenario now. Uh, as well as a knowledge of how to beat the scenario, considering I did it off camera literally maybe less than 24 hours ago. Our objectives here are to destroy the Roman wonder and to build our own wonder in the center of Carthage inside the blue flags. Our ends tell us that we can support a population of 100 and advance to the Iron Age. The mercenary force of the Spartan soldier of fortune Xanthippus will join you if you can find it. It was last spotted north of the Romans. It is not necessary to destroy the Roman shipyards, only to prevent their navy from destroying your wonder. Use some of Carthage's best military units, including hoplites, fire galleys, and war elephants. We're gonna go ahead and get started right away here. A little micro to maybe pick out a couple of these ships, especially the catapult firing here. But uh, our navy will kind of fold there relatively quickly. Okay, let's uh, get villagers on wood here. Get these fishing boats out on the water. And gather up our archers. So, the main danger is going to be from the water. And uh, there will be periodic landings that the Roman Navy makes on our shores here. But uh, they aren't a huge problem. The key is to get some towers online. We we'll also want to get our economy rolling as soon as possible here. We have a big population limit, so let's go ahead and leverage that. Age of Empires 1 pacing is much quicker. Okay, next few villagers can come out here and start farming. And we can start things off by building oh, yes. a tower here. Just get some extra towers over here for some coverage. Keep villager production coming out with our initial villagers. I'm going to invest the 150 wood into a light transport. We have a government center here, which means we can build town centers. What I'll be doing is I'll be looking for the mercenary force up north, ASAP, so that we can start wreaking some havoc against yellow. Just to see how that plays out, honestly. Should be pretty interesting. We'll send exactly one villager over to the other side to Scout out Xanthippus, though now that I mention that, I think I'll send three villagers just so that we're safe from wild animals here. And at our market, I'll pick up Wheel for economy tech. Get this villager back here on stone so that we can start continuing to build towers. Let's keep these villagers turning out. So I may have made a bit of a miscalculation here. That just keeps things interesting though. Wheel tech is still coming online. Our transport ship is probably screwed there. But we'll distract those boats for as long as possible here. Mm -hmm. 
Little tech has come in. Our transport is Hello, dying, mama. which is a shame. Hello, 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 and we're gonna Hello, walk Hello, north up these cliffs to get Hello, to Hello, the lost mercenary force. Bombus. We'll have one villager Hello, build a town center here. Okay, let's pick up sentry tower upgrade here. These two villas can come over here. We'll have this soldier force move to the south here. Keep villagers coming. I'd like to get artisanship next. As soon as we get enough food, which we have now. Gives us extra range on our missile users. Have those villagers go to food. We have some housing that we'd like to build. Let's build another sentry tower here. There's plenty of stone on the map to be had. We got stone here. Let's have this villager just build some nice timeshare housing back here. And we will consider trading some hope lights soon. Let's get a few villagers out on gold now that gold is becoming more relevant. And we'll keep the tower construction coming here with the singular, uh, the singular villager here. More vills, more vills, more vills. Soldiers busting in, that's, that's fine. Let's get our eco still rolling and move these soldiers in to start just doing some more damage. Okay, those guys are having their fun, causing a massive distraction. Let's keep uh, developing our eco back here at home. Let's pick up Cloud Tech. Let's also start training some Hope Flights here. Get some scout ships online. Let's use this extra wood to build a couple of docks. So think about getting to the Iron Age soon. Oh. All of our soldiers died over there bravely on the front lines, but they caused a decent distraction. Okay, I'm gonna start saving food and gold now to get to the Iron Age. I say that as I spend more food and more gold. Got scout ships coming out. Let's uh, research the, the war galley upgrade, which I think we need for the fire galley upgrade. Okay, so fortunately we do have some sentry towers out here now. These walls are going to take some damage in the meantime, but that's fine. Let's try to get to the Iron Age ASAP here. Okay, 
and start picking up storage pick techs as we are able to. Let's build a few sentry towers out here to protect our farmers. Those mills are going to need to stay idle for a time being. And this is the first invasion force. Nothing too strong here. The ballista is kind of scary, but nothing else is here. Let's pick up metal working. Okay. Got our marching techs online here, no, no issue. These medium walls are coming down, but they're buying us a good amount of stall here. Let's pick up scale mail armor for infantry. Keep training up hope lights. Get some more war galleys online here. Plenty of resource inflow now. We'll do architecture for faster build times, which maybe might come in handy against the wonder. We've reached the Iron Age, so we should start building some fire galleys, but we're low on wood. I'd like to get more wood choppers out, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's transition some of these gold miners over to wood chopping. And we'll pick up uh, some wall upgrades here. As soon as we're able to, let's get guard tower. Okay. Item up. Zombies. And we can pick up ballistic soon too. Interesting alignment there. Alright, that seemed a little strange. Let's grab ballistics. We are fire galleys online here. And I'm sure, yeah, let's do metallurgy after this, or rather alchemy, I think. I'll give our fire galleys extra damage. Building up some more. And over here at the market, let's pick up coinage. And we'll get a few more academies online. Pick up Falengi upgrade. We got lots of gold now. We can start thinking about getting our wonder online too once we have enough tech headroom here. We need tons of food for the Ballista Tower upgrade. Block was that dock was blocking us in, unfortunately. These gold miners are done. Let's have them move southwestwards here. Get more techs online here. Let's also pick up aristocracy. Start training more hope lights up. Firing tech still coming online. Let's get more fire galleys out here on the water. 
And get wood chopping tech and farming tech next. Now, having played this level before, I do know that there is a good stockpile of resources down south. I am losing farmers here, unfortunately. We'll need to replace them. But uh, we can build a second TC here. We're just fine for gold. Pick up tower shield tech. Get more veils out here on farms. Pick up Ballista Tower next. And start building up a wonder. Logan? Let's build the wonder now. This is where Red decides to send pretty much all their units out here in an all-out attack. It's a pretty feeble attack, all things considered. Next move here is to continue building heavy infantry. Let's pick up conscription now. We're gonna think about building a couple of siege workshops. Irrigation techs coming online. Ooh, we got quite a few enemies coming. But uh, those infantry units, yeah, they're not strong enough against our heavy infantry here, even though our heavy infantry is not fully upgraded. How much is this upgrade? 1800 food, huh? I guess we can start saving up food for that. I don't think Carthaginians get catapult triremes, unfortunately. We can still train some more warships here. We have hit our pop cap. Centurion upgrade soon. We're only a hundred food short. Let's take out that dock over there. Pick up Centurion tech. Everyone else can start building more Centurion here. Hockey is S for Academy. Oh, 
prioritize killing off priests here. Then we knock out the siege equipment. We did lose a good portion of this initial attack force here. Still got landings coming through, but our bullet attack should be fine. We can delete these villagers here, make some more room for population. Let's upgrade to Ballista Tower, because why not? Let's have this Ballista take out that tower over there. Yeah, our population is dropping pretty rapidly, but that's because they're not really attacking efficiently. Let's not trickle in. We're going to do good, good damage to the Roman Navy here. Such as exposed to fast fire ship attacks here, but we're making good progress now. We've broken into the heart of the enemy base here in red as well. Our wonder is almost done constructing as well. Alright, this guard tower has been getting free pot shots on my Saturians this entire time. Pretty annoying, if you ask me. Yo, these fire trips take, do so much damage once they get in, that's crazy.
That is a conversion live in action, folks. Let's take out this temple and start busting our way in here. That is one of the Consul's Guard. The Consul's Guard is pretty much a non faction. Oh, I don't want scouts. No, 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 no. I want centurions. Okay, we busted our way in. Let's take care of these siege weapons, and then we can start attacking the wonder. Yellow has pretty much been wiped out from existence here, as is red. And our wonder is just about completed. The console's guard got wiped out super fast. Nice, that's the first of our two objectives completed. Now we'll have these villagers all just hard focus on building the wonder here, and we will win the game. It's not a super difficult scenario. I think on my first go, I took quite a lot longer. I'm at about the 27 minute mark on my recording here. Last time I think I finished it all off in 40 minutes or so. But if you uh, know it's coming, it's a lot easier to play efficiently. Hopefully this recording goes through properly with my new action setup and the reinstall didn't uh, mess anything up here. But as soon as this thing counts up, we will be done. That will be that. All right, victory is ours. Very nice. So let's take a quick look at the map here. Nothing super special to report. We pretty much explored everything of note worth exploring. And that was the final mission of the first Punic War. Overall pretty fun. Two nice, uh, simple campaigns. I know Ascent of Egypt was a tutorial campaign, but nonetheless, it was uh, quite nostalgic. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's been The Clever Fool. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.